Hello Prana friends, in this video I am going to do my weekly spread for my big hourly planner. I want to say I'm sorry in advance if here or there the planner is out of frame. I am trying really really hard to keep everything in frame that you have to see. Uh, it, is, it is not that easy for me with a big planner because my filming space is a bit small and my tripod that I film this on is very short so you know but just just a heads up so um we are going to do so this was uh last week's spread and we are going to do this week and that is July 5th to the uh 11th I'm not even sure if I want to take it out but well I took it out um, what I'm gonna do while I'm doing this is I'm going to look at my schedule for last week because it is going to be similar to this uh, obviously not 100% the same but this is going to guide me through there are some things that are not changing like lectures and so on so I'm going to look at that and hope that I can put everything <laughs> on my desk uh, it is very hard my desk is super small well that's uh, not gonna work this way when what am i gonna do let me try to fix this situation quickly okay let's just put this over here okay so we are gonna start with this side, um, obviously, and I'm going to take my calligraphy, calligraphy pen and put July. Okay, so last week I used these, where it says daily habits. Uh, since I'm using this... Um, hourly calendar extension only for um, my university planning I am not gonna put daily habits because that doesn't make much sense to me and how I'm using it but I am going to put two things I did this last week as well I am going to put focus and I'm going to put So, um, in the row for focus, I am going to um, put the one thing that I'm focusing on for that day. And that does not mean that I only do that kind of task the whole day. But um, obviously, um, I am going to have fixed plans on each day. And the time that I am not spending on fixed tasks I am going to spend on my focus and the focus for this planner since it is a university planner is going to be studying for some kind of exam because I am in exam season now so I have different exams coming up and different projects that I have to finish and so each day is going to be a different focus uh, one might would be a project the other day could be learning for an exam and so on and so forth and how I decide uh, on what I am doing um, for each day is I'm just going to look at my exam prep plan and it says what I have to do each day. If you want to know how I did my exam prep plan, I have a video on that. If you're a student and maybe you want to know. Um, okay, well, maybe I, it's just... Uh, it's just best when I fill these two out. So I'm just gonna flip to my monthly and just copy the information. So the fit is going to be On Wednesday and Thursday I am working, so it's going to be work.
Friday. I think I'm gonna have to tweak uh, my plan a bit. So let's just do that. I'm just gonna put this over here and this over here and take these two and move those. So this is gonna go over here. Oopsies. It's gonna go over here. It just doesn't wanna stick at all. And then this over here and this over here. This doesn't wanna stick as well. That's weird. Which, I don't know which side is sticky, maybe that one. Okay, so tweak that a bit. That's good. Oh, I don't have to, oh, why did I close this? Go back to the weekly. So now it's time. Um, I'm also gonna fill out exercise and I put exercise on this weekly because I feel like exercise does help me with university um, because it helps me reduce stress and um, that way I am more focused so I'm going to put go on a run I am already, I hate to be a lefty because Okay, so that was the easy part and now I'm going to start with the first half of the week and plan out the days. So I'm gonna use these handwritten colored boxes to put down any time blocks for lectures and whatnot and I'm not gonna talk you through this because I think it's fairly self-explanatory what I'm doing and it will also take me a long time to explain everything. Uh, but I'm just gonna take these label um, thingies. These came with the sticker storage boxes. These are for the sticker books. I don't use these for the sticker books, but I'm going to put a piece of uh, these labels over any kind of um, header that these have because usually they don't really go with what I want to do. So <laughs> I'm gonna do that. So let's me let me just plan out my week and then we are gonna check in. Okay, so um, I am pretty much finished with the weekly schedule, uh, you may have noticed that I have some empty boxes. Um, I filled every box out last week. Um, so I just noticed that the plan is going to change. So I'm not going to fill out everything. Uh, I will see how Monday and Tuesday go and how I um, progress on my plan. And then I can allow these time blocks for whatever I need them. Um, but I planned enough time blocks for everything and I'm probably not going to do anything here. A little bit of a break you might need <laughs> every once in a while. So I left that empty. The last thing I want to do is, well, maybe not the last, but almost the last thing is I want to put some uh, checklists on... I only have four in here. 
that's not optimal at all maybe i can find another one i need five maybe there is one in here oh this one doesn't have any at all okay maybe in the other one colorful boxes this might have some I mean, um, I need one with four. Those blue ones are okay. Maybe there are some greens. Maybe not. This book is falling apart, by the way, if you can tell. Oops. Oh, okay, I guess um, I don't really like this, to be honest. Okay, there are no green ones with four dots. I already used those probably. Okay, let me get to this. I think this might have... <laughs> I used all of these as well. I can't believe it. just want some green checklists is that too much to ask for does this one have checklists yes I guess this is fine let's see if there is another shade that I like better um, I don't want to use those I want those for this is Christmas pink okay let's just go with this one then uh, I am going to put these here and then cut off the part that hangs over so I'm gonna go back and cut that part in a second Perfect. And that means we are almost finished. I might put something in the sidebar though uh, because it is pretty empty. Uh, I am thinking of something from here maybe. this one maybe I can layer it with something Oops. okay there is not much that I could layer this with um, What if I... Put this down here and then... Maybe add a tree to that? I think that's cute. Maybe even okay, and I was thinking of adding some small stuff to 
like stuff like this maybe again um, I don't know about the circles though, so about this more study time I might go with the circles after all and put some keep going um, get it done some birds And I'm gonna add a, I guess, I think I'm gonna add a finish up sticker. Might even cover up this take note with some label paper. I guess that might need like two on top of each other because it's pretty high. Okay, take note and now we're gonna put finish up instead okay and i can also put some dots Okay.
I'd like to put something over here, maybe some leaves. Okay, so I think that's good. Um, spread is finished. The first half of my week, well, actually more than that, is basically decided on and everything else, uh, like starting on uh, from Friday, I'm going to fill in later uh, once I know what I have left to do. So this is it. Let me put it back into my planner. This is the spread in its entirety. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I also have an Instagram account where I only post Happy Planner stuff. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave it in the description box. And other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye!